Hello and welcome to another set of BricsCAD tutorials here on SourceCAD and in this video tutorial I'll explain everything about making text and text style in BricsCAD right from scratch. So let's get started. Since we'll be working with text style I'll start my drawing in the drafting profile. So I already have this profile created so I'll go to get started and here I have the drafting I'll select it and I'll click on new drawing. Now this will launch the blank drawing template here. Okay so now I'll start by adding the text style and then we'll use the text style to add a single line and multi line and later we'll also learn about modifying that multi line as well as its properties. So to begin with text style you can go to the drawing explorer right here on the head sub toolbar or you can also click on the text style name right here on the status bar so double click and this is also going to open drawing explorer and inside this it will automatically open text style so i'm going to close it and i'll select the drawing explorer and from here i'll select text style now by default we'll have the standard text style and if you make anything in BricsCAD it will use the standard text style and all the properties defined in it. But you can obviously make your own text style and that's what we are going to do here. So I'll click on new text style right here and I'll call it test. So give it a name, press enter. Now if you want to make it annotative, click here and the text style will become annotative. If you want to match the orientation with layout, check this box but we'll not do that and now I'll go to the next option which is height. So this is the height of our text. So I'm going to assign a height value of one unit. Though you can leave this at zero and if you do that, BricsCAD will use the default height value which is defined in the template. Now the next is width factor which is the overall width factor of your text. So by default it is one but if you want to increase the width of your text add a value which is greater than one. If you want to decrease the overall width of text add a value which is between zero and one. For example adding 0.5 here will decrease the thickness of our text just like this. So we are not going to do that and instead I'll change it back to one and press tab key. Now the oblique angle is more like italics angle if you add that. So I'm going to type 30 and I'll press tab key and look at this. It will add this kind of oblique angle. I'll change it back to zero. Now we have the font option right here. So the first one was Arial font, the standard text style. And this font is also Arial. So I'm going to change it. So I'll click here and I'll change it to simplex font. So I'll type S and here we have the simplex shape font. Now the shape font has its unique properties which we'll use here. So that's the shape font. Also when you select that you'll notice that the style option will simply become non-selectable and you cannot select any option from this because the simplex text style is the single line text style which cannot be modified when it comes to style. You cannot make it bold, italics or things like that. Though you can do the same thing for Arial text which is a true type font. If you select this you'll get options of making it italics, bold and so on. So I'm going to go back to this, our text style. And now we have some options like if you want to make it backwards, select this. If you want to make it upside down, select this. And if you want to make it vertical, you can do this as well. You won't be able to make your true type fonts vertical. It's possible for mostly shape fonts. So now we are done making these changes. I'll scroll it here. And now I'll close the text style and the drawing explorer. But before I do that, I'll make this style the current text style. Right now the current text style is a standard as you can see here. I'll just click here. And now the text style is test. And now BricsCAD will use text style to make the text. So now I'll close it and I'll start adding my text. So first I'll go to annotation panel of home tab. I'll click the drop down and I'll select multi line text. You can also select single line text and we'll look at that as well. But first let's start with multi line text. Now make a text box of any size and you can start typing your text and it will use the text style which you have already defined. So here is the text style test and all the properties of that text style will be automatically added here. So I'm going to type in bricks CAD and ultimate. So automatically it will add the next piece of text in the second line as we are adding a multi-line text but if you want to add it in a single line you can also expand this ruler. So 
just expand the ruler to create more room for your text. Now, if you want to add another row, just press enter and add another row for the text. So I'm going to type sample text. Now, this is a simple piece of text and you can change the formatting of selected text from this text box. But before I do that, I'll just click OK on this text formatting bar which shows up whenever you add multi-line text. I'll click OK and that's our final piece of text. Now this text is multi-line text. If you want to modify this, just double click this text and once again, you'll be back to the text box and you'll have the text formatting bar as well. Now let's modify this sample text. So I'll make a selection from this and now we'll start by changing its font. So though we are using text style as test, I'm going to change the font here. I'll just use Arial. So I'll type A and here we have the Arial font. Okay. Now here we have the option for text height. If you want to change this, just type in the value. So right now the text height is one. I'll change it to 1.5 unit and I'll press tab key and you'll automatically see the difference. Now the next thing is these formatting options. So you can make it bold, italics, you can add underline, overlines, you can add a strike through and I'll just remove these formattings. Now we can change the case. So now you can just convert lowercase to uppercase. Just click here and now all of these are in uppercase. You can also convert it to lowercase. Click here and now all of these are in lowercase. If you want to make it annotative, check this box. If you want to add the gap between multi lines, select this. And if you want to add multiple columns, select this. Now, if you want to stack your text, you can use other options which are available here. So I'm going to type one by two and I just want to stack this text. So I'll just select both of these and I'll click on A by B and look at this. It will stack our text like this. If you want to add a symbol, all you need to do is just click on the symbol icon and select the symbol from here. For example, I'll add Delta or maybe the diameter symbol. Now, if this list is not comprehensive enough and you want to add more symbols, then you can use the Unicode for the symbol. For example, if you want to add almost equal symbol, then you can type in backslash U plus 2248. And when you finish typing that string, it will automatically convert to almost equal sign just like this. But in this case, the limitation is, well, you need to know that Unicode is string, which can be a little difficult in many situations. So to overcome this, you can use the character map, which is available in your operating system. So I'm now going to select character map from my Windows search. I'll select this character map and I'll select a symbol from this. So maybe I'll select this symbol, the random one. I'll click on select and copy. I'll close it. Then I'll right click here and I'll select paste and the symbol will be added here. So in this way also you can add symbols in multi-line text. Now, if you want to add fields, select this option and this will let you add fields. And if you want to add backgrounds to your text string, then select the background color right here. Select this, add a color that you want and by default, this will remain deactivated like this. But if you want to use it, just check this box and it will become active like this. And then you can select the color. Click OK and it will be added. So these are some of the formatting options. Now let's look at these options here. So here also you can select the piece of text and then change the oblique angle. For example, you can make an oblique angle of 10 unit here. And this is the overall text width, which is one inch is right now. You can just change it to any other value which you want. And this is the text tracking, which is basically the gap between individual letters. For example, if I just change it to 1.5, just look at this. Now, in this case, the letters are at a distance of 1.5 times of what they were initially. So I'm going to change it back to one. And here we are. So after making these changes, I'll click OK and that's our multi-line text. Now to make single line text, all you need to do is just go to this drop down, select text and now click at a point to start making your text. If you want to change the formatting and other options related to your single line text, you can select the text panel and select the option that you want to change. For example, if you want to change the justification, you can 
select justification option and select the justification from this list. In this case, I'll select middle center as the justification. Now I'll click at a point and now you can specify the rotation angle. So in this case, I'll keep the rotation value of zero. So instead of specifying any value, I'll simply press enter and this will take the zero degree rotation value. We have already defined the text height, so it won't prompt you for that. And now you can type in your text, your single line text. So again, I'll type BrickSCAD Ultimate. And in the second line, I'll type sample text. So I'll press enter and I'll type sample text. Now, in this case, it may look like you're still adding the same kind of text, but if you click outside and then press escape key, you will get two separate lines of text. And in this case, the first line is selected, not the second one. And when you click the second one, only that one will be selected. So this is the single line text. The, it will only select the single line of the text and you can modify them separately. So to modify it, simply double click and now you can add more text to this. And if you want to modify its formatting options, just select it once. And from the property panel right here, you can change the formatting options like height, rotation, width factor, obliquing, and so on. Now, when you double click the text, BrickSCAD will let you modify your text right where it is. But if you want to modify your text in a separate text box, then use the system variable text add. So I'm going to type text add and I'll press enter. And as you can see, the default value of text add system variable is right now two. I'll change it to one. And now I'll double click here. And you'll notice that we now have edit text box. You can type anything here and that value will be added to our drawing. So once again, I'll change it back to normal. So text, add, I'll press enter, I'll change it back to two. Now, we also have multiple options for deleting the text style. So I'll select both of these texts and I'll just move it here, this one also here, all right. Now, I'll go to Drawing Explorer, our text style. And in this case, we've made all of these things with the test text style. Now, what if we delete the test text style? So before we do that, I'm gonna make standard text as the current text style because we cannot delete the current text style. And now I'll select the test text style and let's click on delete. When we do that, BricksCAD will show us these options. So what do you want to do? Well, you know that this text style has been used in our drawing. So we have a couple of options. First is, well, we can delete the text style as well as all the entities using it. So if I select the first option, then all the text which is using this text style will be deleted as well. Now, if you want to replace the text style, if you want to keep the text here and just want to replace its text style, select change and then select the text style with which you want to replace it. So we just want to replace it with standard. Click on change and we are done. Now that text style is deleted and the drawing will now use standard text style. So this is also using a standard and all of these are also using standard text style. So that way you can delete the text style and retain the text entities using those text style. So this was all about the text style, single line text and multi-line text in BricsCAD. If you have any question, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video. I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.